This is my preview ahead of our game against Bournemouth at Dean Court in the Premier League in the lunchtime kickoff. I also give my starting 11 ahead of the game in a moment. But first, let's go back, shall we, to Wednesday night when we beat Chelsea in their own backyard by two goals to one to reach the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup, which will now play Colchester United in December. It was a fantastic victory. Rash's free kick was covered in quality and all that. But to compare it to Ronaldo's is the height of stupidity. It really is. Because Ronaldo took his free kick, right? That was against Portsmouth at Old Trafford. We were top of the Barclays Premier League and we were going to win the league. Rash's free kick was against Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. That's how you pronounce it, by the way. And that meant we're in the quarterfinals. But we don't know as yet whether we're going to win it or not. So I don't think you can compare the two. But obviously, those who love Rashford are going to say it's better than Ronaldo. Probably because they've never seen Ronaldo play really at Man United. Or they were not supporting Manchester United back then. A few of those ones. But, and I thought McTominay was absolutely outstanding again. He was on the booking. He didn't let it affect him. You know, he was composed. He was forthright. The Chelsea players didn't target his uh, yellow card, which was fantastic. And he just drove that midfield, drove it like a car on, on, a, on, a, on a Grand Prix track. Fantastic performance. Um, he's getting better, but as every game goes by, people love to mock what they can't and don't understand, don't they? McTominay has always been a great player. He's adding more strings to his bow now than he did before. In Mourinho's second season against Chelsea at 2 on Old Trafford, McTominay pocketed Hazard and he did a better job pocketing Hazard than Herrera did in all the games he pocketed uh, Hazard because Herrera's only claim to fame is stalking Hazard in an Old Trafford pitch. Other than that, he's been terrible. He was terrible for United. And we haven't missed him, by the way. And McTominay was outstanding in that game, you know. And I think the other reason why McTominay was hated by, I'm going to call them the footballing snobs in our fan base, and a footballing snob, by the way. Oh, you can't play McTominay, you've got to play somebody with more quality. What load of rubbish that is. That's probably like from the young ones. Um, so, let's have a Paul Pogba, because he dropped Paul Pogba from McTominay, and I think top guys didn't like that, they didn't like, uh, because McTominay was you know, uh, Mourinho's uh, main man, as you can see now. As to why. So, and he also did have a growth spurt like Darren Fletcher did as well. And Darren Fletcher said that um, in midweek um, as well. But Tommy wasn't the, the t how tall he is now. He wasn't a couple of years ago. So it was a growth spurt, obviously. And Darren Fletcher said that um, that but Tommy is more physical. You know, he's more bulked up than Darren Fletcher was at that age. You know, and I said that he is Darren Fletcher reincarnated because they both remind me of Darren Fletcher. Both hated. I both came out on the other side shining uh, like the sunshine, which is not outside because we're in now the depths of autumn. So, my starting 11. Ingold De Gea. At right back. Wamba Crapper. Left back, Ashley Young, our best left back. And I'll explain why in a minute. Centre back, Maguire. Linderov. Uh, midfield three, the same really as it was against Norwich. Up front, Daniel James, Rashford and Anthony Martial up front. Now, people keep saying this Brendan Williams has done fantastically well. Again, that is a stupid thing to say, because he hasn't, does he? I mean, he does nothing. All he does, right, is the basics. He's a middle of the road, pub player, not Man United standard. He's not going to be a Man United for the long haul. You know, he can't attack. You know, he gets so much exposed. You see, on, in the second half, Chelsea, there was a gaping gap. And Chelsea exposed it. There was a cross, a face to goal with Rhys James, who put it across. It was a fantastic ball. Nobody uh, attacking it. And comparing him to Ashley Young isn't really something to gloat about, is it? Because Ashley Young is not a left-back by trade. Brendan Williams is. Ashton has more caps in his country than Brendan Williams has, right? He's won more trophies than Brendan Williams has as well. All Brendan Williams does, right, is pass it up and down. 
side to side, pass it back to the goalkeeper, goalkeeper passes it back to him, he passes it around the defence. That's all he does. He's not a bench hero, is he? I mean, bench hero is something that Brendan Wins could never actually attack. Because against Ace Agatma, we didn't have a single shot on target, did we? He did nothing in that game to provide any crosses whatsoever. You know? Yes, he won us the penalty kick, but for me, that was a dive for me. And he almost considered it a penalty kick as well. You know, and you could see the Pratt and Bograde uh, players getting frustrated, which was understandable because it was definitely a penalty kick. And if VAR was in that uh, game, then, you know, it would have been a penalty kick. It wouldn't have got the three points that we had there. So, I don't get this Brendan Williams. Obviously, if you think he's a good player, that's your lookout. But don't drag me into it. Don't drag me into it. Don't be associated with me in it because I don't want nothing to do with it because he's crap. And I'll keep on saying that. He's not... Because he plays a couple of games, that doesn't mean he's very good. He's only playing, right, because Porky Pig is injured and Ashley Earn's getting on a bit. That's the only reason he's playing. You know, if those two are available week in, week out, would Brendan Williams get a chance? Not on your Nelly, he would. He would not get any chance whatsoever. So there you go. And Maguire made another mistake against Chelsea, just like he made a mistake against Norwich on the Sunday. So, Bournemouth's pace with Callum Wilson, and um, you know, Fraser and Wilson with his terrific free kicks. Um, will be a problem for Maguire. He cannot handle pace. He can't. He's fairly poor on the ball. He's slow. He's about as, he's about as fast as a sinker battleship. You know, he's so slow, right? You need, you need a, a tow truck to pick him up. He's slow as a snail. You know, he's got nothing about him whatsoever. He's paceless. 85 million down the drain as Maguire makes a mistake again. So, there you go. so I'm going to go for 2-1 Man United victory. And I think that will be the scoreline at the end of the game.